Hello everybody, Kevin Savatella here with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Orlando, Florida. It is starting to get hot out here, but we're checking out the community called Meridian Parks by Madame Homes. Now, this master plan community is amazing. I mean, check out this clubhouse. And then also this pool. They have an amazing playground area and there's still a lot more amenities. And while we're centrally located in Orlando, Florida as well. But today we're gonna to be che checking out the Catalina 2. Um, this is the only four bedroom townhome that they have to offer. And this one's currently going for in the mid 400s. So buying a home in Orlando, Florida in the 400s that's brand new in an amazing community like this, it's not too bad. So I want you guys to stay tuned towards the end of the video because I am gonna talk a little bit more about the area and what is to come. So come on in and check out the home. Okay, so let's check out the Catalina 2. The Catalina 2 is really nice because it is a corner unit, so you do get a little bit more privacy. So coming on in, you are welcome with a nice open layout. As you can see here, you got your living room right over here. So there's plenty of space. To maximize the space, I will personally do a nice U-shaped sectional and that'll fill up that space and put as much seating as possible there. And then going this way, we do have a dining space. And of course, you gotta put your TV somewhere. Nice spot for your TV there. But continuing this way, you do have a pretty nice kitchen. This is a peninsula style kitchen. So you can see they got three bar stools there, but you could probably easily fit a fourth there. Like that, that could be your everyday eating area. But yeah, check out this kitchen. It's definitely pretty nice. They did some nice tasteful upgrades. And the price that I told you guys earlier, that includes the upgrades already done. So you don't have to worry about doing extra upgrades and that's not the starting price. Those are prices. And then right there, you're gonna have your garage access, which is on the back of the home. Here you do got your pantry. Now, at first it looks a little bit small, but you can see it does go in a little bit, so any extra space does help. So right over there, you get your powder bath and the stairs to go right on upstairs. So let's go on up. I do like how they did this little niche here. You can do like little things. And I mean, that's just cute. Like that's a perfect spot to put the dog bowls. Good, that's good thinking right there. And then you got an outlet right there, so you can make that a good spot to like charge your phones or put, I don't know, something electronic there. A pretty cool, good spot to drop your keys and whatnot. Mail, definitely good thinking there. But let's go on upstairs where we got four bedrooms. And then, We'll take a little peek. What we have over here. So right here, you got a normal bedroom. Not the biggest of bedrooms, but we are in a townhome. Putting in four bedrooms, so keep that in mind. And that way will be the master. We're gonna finish checking out over here. So here we got the secondary bathroom where you got your double sinks. You got a nice little window, let in some natural light. And then the shower. And then you got me. And right here, this secondary bedroom, I think is a little bit bigger than the other one that I just showed. But not by too much, but you do get a full size mattress with nice dents on both sides. And if you don't get such a deep one, you can fit a dresser right there in the front too. Might be a little bit tighter, but hey, it'll fit. And then I missed this door right here. You do got a nice little linen closet. Linen closets are always good to have. Continuing on this way, we do have the laundry closet right here. Definitely, if you want to maximize this space, you could put a countertop over the washer and dryer, their front load like this, 
It's a nice spot to fold your clothes. Right here, they did put the nursery since it's the closest room to the master. So pretty nice. Nothing too crazy here. But we'll continue on to the master bedroom right over here. Off to the right, we do have the master closet. And for a townhome, it is definitely a good size. I've seen townhomes with some really small closets, so this is pretty good. And then continuing on over here, it is definitely a good size master. One of the bigger ones I've seen in a townhome. Not the biggest, one of the bigger. Sometimes in the townhomes, they could be really small with the master bedrooms. You do get a nice big window as well. And then the master bath, you do have double sinks. Now they didn't put vanity lights, but they put the lights in the ceiling. One unique thing that you could do is that Instead of putting a vanity light, you could put a nice pendant light. Switch that out for a pendant light afterwards, and that would look amazing. I've seen it in some model homes, and it looks great. But right there, you got your walk-in shower. I love the drain on that. It does not look like a drain. It looks pretty cool. Pretty nice thing by Madam there. And then over here, you got your toilet room. And then, hey, you got a little view too. Pretty nice more windows the better so thank you for joining me on this house tour i had a great time showing you around this town home it's a great four bedroom option if you want to be centralized in orlando florida in the 400 000s now this area is really good because one reason is because you're close to a 528 highway which will help get you to downtown orlando or to the beach as well I mean, if you move to florida you get the beach and then you're also close to the 417 highway, which will help get you to Lake Nona, to Celebration, a lot of different things. So you got two amazing highways with very convenient distances from them. So if you think this location, oh, I forgot. You got some new schools coming in as well as this area continues to grow. And so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you or anybody you know is looking at buying a home in the Central Florida area, feel free to call me. I'd love to help you guys out finding your new home. So in the meantime, see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.